Well, we have 6 a.m. rolls happening here. So Will is in the blue gi, currently pinning Ben in the white gi. And he is attempting to escape, which is not going to be easy. And then we have Danny, our instructor, grabbing Chris's foot and... Oh, he's going to do some evil leg lock sort of wizardry. All right. So Chris is probably going to tap because that doesn't look fun. Oh, and then we have Bradley on the other side. Oh, he's taking his back. Uh-oh. A choke is going to happen. I see it. I see it in his future. And the bell. It sure stays on female a long time. And here is Saturday's workout. Doing some pressing overhead. And then I went to my overhead squats, which I'm brand new doing these. Definitely a work in progress, but I'm trying. Now we get some actual weights there, and um, yeah, you can see I'm getting a little wobbly pressing this. It's really, this is something that really tests your coordination, and I failed. So then I went to doing some regular back squats, and we doubled up on the green plates. And then the yellows. So here I'm squatting 95 pounds. And um, that is how I wrapped up that workout. Women's Open Mat. All right, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Desiree. <laughs> and? Uh, I am a blue belt at Karate and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Yes, and you're holding the open mat for I us. I am, I host the women's open mat once a month. Excellent. And why do you do that? Uh, just to bring women together because there's not very many opportunities to train with other women. So here we are. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you like about Jiu Jitsu? Um, it's a great outlet. <laughs> I love the community. And exactly. pretty much just a good workout. Absolutely. And do you think that um, more women should start? Absolutely. We need more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You all heard that. So you need to I'll start signing up for your local jujitsu uh, dojos, and then we'll see you and we'll beat you up in person, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's get some matches. So I'm wearing a white belt here because I forgot my belt. And um, then you just grab the first one that they have. And one thing about jiu-jitsu places is they're aware that when you walk in for the first time, you probably are not going to own a gi or even the, the appropriate stuff that you need to wear. So just come in wearing a slim fitting t-shirt or workout shirt for your sports bra and leggings and they will have a lender borrowing gis for you to wear as well as belts that you can put on you borrow them over your clothes and that's what you use to train in for your first time or even your first couple of times it all depends on the place where you're going so you can see um desiree is on top of me she is looking for an arm bar right here because that's her thing that she likes to get and I'm trying to protect my arm because I hate getting arm barred. Ooh, well I talked through the whole thing, didn't I? So this next match um, is Darcy and Darcy trains at the dojo where I currently train too regularly. And um, we're more evenly based as far as skill goes, but I'm obviously bigger than her, so I have a strength advantage there. 
So you'll see a little more activity in this one because of that. We both stay busy instead of one person basically pinning the other one and handling it. And in the background there, that's Desiree and Kim. And Kim is a higher belt. She's a purple belt. She was a lot of fun to roll with too. But I didn't get footage of that one. But I think this one with Darcy and I is pretty good. You can see her belt comes undone. And um, we're fighting for a position that's called scrambling. She's looking for a choke Hi. here too, but I'm not going to give okay, it to her. Okay, so I am headed into crunch to do some leg stuff and have a pull day. That'll be lat pull downs and um, some other pulling stuff that's basically for my back and for my shoulders. And we'll see what leg machines I can get on since it's early in the week. The earlier in the week that you go to the gym, the busier it always is. And then it like tapers off until you get to the weekend. Then it's pretty much, you can do whatever you want. You have full access. So we're gonna do all of that. Um, I will have a weight check that I haven't had in a while because I've just been training jujitsu for, let me see, for a few days couple days and um, I think I'm thinking for the rest of the week while I'm training it's just gonna be 6 a.m. classes instead of both day and evening so that I'll have time so that I can do 6 a.m. jujitsu and then work out in the evening and then I have a friend coming to visit for a couple of days which will mean possibly mean no workouts but that depends because I can pretty much train at any of, I mean, I can train at any of my fitness facilities wherever we are. And if she's resting or sleeping or whatever, I might be able to sneak away. And since I'll be driving us, I'll have lots of room. I could just pack an entire gym bag to go. So that sounds a little obsessive and I may or may not take, you know, Friday, Saturday and Sunday off. We'll see. I will be sure to update on that. So let's go work out. Okay, so I hit the slow mo button on my phone, and yeah, this turned into like a much more. <laughs> I don't know. It makes me laugh to see this. So that's why I decided to share it with the world. Yes. Clean that machine. <laughs> Getting ready to glute drive. And we have a mirror check. Okay, the front almost always looks the same, I think, but it's the side where it's like, what is going on from the side, from day to day, where I see changes. And that was my weight. How about those socks? Went and worked out. It was actually earlier today that I'm doing this voiceover. All right, attempting, I don't know what's, I wanted my hair to look good down and it, I don't know what's going on there, as you can see. Ugh. Yeah. All right, back. Usually pretty standard back view. There's the side, there's my profile body. Trying to figure out what's going on with that mop. <laughs> and I give up. And there is hi so I wanted to pop in here and talk about size for a minute because one of the ways that jujitsu is marketed is as um, a martial art where the much smaller person can actually beat and take control of a larger opponent and that 
can be true when the much smaller person has great technique and it's completely on point and the larger opponent has no idea what's going on. Usually though, a bigger opponent has a huge advantage when they have weight and strength on their size. And because of that, a white belt male who walks in weighing 200 or 220 pounds can have a match with say a purple belt female and purple belt is you've been at it for a few years because the belts you're white when you start then you get blue which is what I am then you move up to purple and then it goes brown and black so this brand new white belt can come in and have a match with an experienced female who weighs 120 to 150 pounds whatever and pin her and you know make it so that she's unable to do jujitsu and complete a choke or a submission so it's not like they're they're not doing jujitsu at that point of course but they are you know taking control of the match and that is why it is so great when you're a woman in this sport to have other women to choose, you know, to choose to roll with and spar with. And um, especially when there's a variety of people, you know, from different, different weight classes and different experience levels, that makes, it makes all the difference and it makes it really great. Now, if you watched my video before this, I think it was the one right before this. I have a match with Nic my friend Nicole, who is 20 pounds smaller than me, but her technique is so, so good that she almost had a choke on me. And she has gotten chokes on me and submissions in other matches. But because I have a strength advantage over her, even with her higher technique level, I am usually able to escape from what she's trying to do. So I just wanted to pop in and make it clear that, yes, it is important as far as the weight and strength advantage goes. And that's one of the many reasons that it would be so wonderful to see more women um, coming in and participating in this sport, in this activity. So, I mean, that's like kind of a selfish thing on my part, but I also, it's just so fun and gratifying and mood stabilizing which is very important too i can't be the only one who occasionally goes into roller coaster moods so it's really great for that and i would say a weight control too if you want it to be and i'll go into that in a different video thank you so much for stopping by and i hope you were entertained